Hi there, welcome back to the English class and we are in unit 7. It's all about unity and diversity. How diverse is India? It's known worldwide for the variety in it. How many languages, how many cuisines, how many religions, how many states and how many different types of apparel, yes? And we are united by one word that is Indian. We forget our boundaries, we forget our differences and become one. But why did I put that question mark there? Are we really as united as we claim to be? We often, our Indian culture has always taught us about brotherhood. But somewhere down the line, why do we end up fighting with our brothers? Why do we end up killing them? So today the poem, A Plea for India, is a request for every Indian to remember that we are one, no matter how different. Even in a single family, the brothers and sisters are so different. But what unites us? We remind ourselves that we belong to one family, yes? So this plea is also reminding us we all belong to one huge family called India. Let's remain Indians, brothers and sisters. Now before we dive into the poem, I just want to tell you my experience of being an Indian. When I was in the US, I was just taking a quiet walk down the street in an alien land, alien, alien culture and language. And suddenly I heard Bengali voices from a house. You won't believe the happiness that jumped out of my heart. I felt I hurt my brother or sister. I went up, I knocked the doors and I said, I'm an Indian too. I'm from Telangana. And we just sat and spoke like we were family members. That's what holds us together, being Indian. So let's start off and see what this poem has to say. We Indians are proud to be strong nation. Our roots, we declare, cannot be shaken. We feel that India is that huge banyan tree which has its roots so strong in the soil that no matter what storm comes, it can't shake us. Then why these fights? Why do we see trains being burnt? Why do we see people being killed? There are people who will instigate us. They will remind us how different we are and they give us an illusion that we are fighting for justice by fighting with our brothers. But that is misleading us. It's leaving us in poor plight. It's, it's taking us into a very sad situation. Irrespective of our region, forget the caste, which makes us lose our charm. Now, if you look at a bouquet of flowers, a bouquet which has only roses, a bouquet which has 10, 20 different types of flowers, which has more charm? That different bouquet which has thousands of different colors and variety, that is India. Let's keep that charm. When someone comes to our doorstep and says, that person from that religion, from that caste is doing injustice to us, Remind yourself that this person itself is first doing us injustice by making us feel different from our fellow men. Let's ignore the selfish call of each region and listen for once the call of the nation. All of us, all these states together, if all are happy, all are at peace, only then our country is at peace. If each person fights for his own region, can we have a cumulative peaceful situation? Remember the call of the nation, the soldiers, what are they doing? Are they fighting for the religion or are they fighting for our country? Are they, do they even have a feeling that I'm a Muslim or a Hindu or a Christian? No, the call of the nation comes first. Why do we spend our time bickering with so many tasks need finishing? Why are we quarreling and fighting when there are so many things to do in India? We have to pull up the poor, we have to work for gender equality, we have to work for so many social causes, for nature, for diversity. So much work to do. Why are we fighting? 
unnecessarily on unwanted causes. Don't we have better things to do than indulge in creating problems anew? There are tons of problems right from your family to the global level. There are so many problems, why create a new one? Let's tackle the old ones first. Is all this violence needed with the people being cheated? Again, I'm telling you, we are being cheated when we are provoked to fight against our brothers on the name of religion or caste. That's not the truth. Justice is not found in division. Justice, do justice to our country if only we learn the meaning of unity and harmony. Who will return this only son whom she loved a ton? Who will bring back his brother whose ashes he still together? People who have lost their lives, sons, brothers, daughters, who will bring them back? These people who came to your doorstep and instigated you to fight and kill, can they bring back your family member? Is that the justice they have been talking about? Absolutely no. Do not put people's lives at stake just because you want to rise above and be superior to your brother. Where has all the love gone which resided in the heart of all? There is no reason to be proud on, and be on a high cloud. What this poem is saying is, Oh, India is diverse. Oh, we are so united. We are on a cloud. Please step down. Remember that the love is vanishing. It has to come back to the heart where it previously used to live. We have a long way to go. We have to think seriously, else we will end up miserably. This is the time we have to remind ourselves we are Indians and we, before we fight with each other, let's think about having a dialogue. Let's think about talking to each other before we end up miserably. Remember, the moment we divide ourselves, there are hyenas waiting to devour us. Then let our minds throw out the rot and devote our time to pious thoughts. Remove hatred from your mind, fill it with love and kindness. Let us control the riots which leave us with no choice but to hang our heads in shame and say we have miserably failed. Look at these Hindu, Muslims, the festivity, the, the love and the joy. Why are we allowing it to translate into darkness and grim, uh, into a grim nation? Let's not reach a point where we hang our heads in shame and say, we have failed and that too miserably. We have the power to win and so why not end this din? Din is noise. Let's shut out this noise of communal riots and violence. Let us unite and fight against those who incite. Those people, again, who come knocking on your doors and say, pick up your sword. No, cut out that din and tell them we are united and we will not fight. Let us not be misled. Do not allow them to go down to take you down the wrong path. You have to make that choice by those who want to see us dead. Yes, they are misleading us and yes, they are leading us towards death. We are a strong united nation and all we need is a bit of a dedication. Just a little honesty, just a little knocking on the doors of your heart and asking yourself, is he my brother? Is he my family member? This pledge you read every day in your assembly. The first two lines, India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. Next time you read that pledge in school, remember this plea, remember this poem that we are all one big family. So that's it for now. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.